Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the start of vlog number four. Um, I finished vlog number three uh, where I was going to go to JB Hi-Fi and pick up some of the last items for my camera to set up my camera. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you what I got um, and just talk about everything that I've got planned for the rest of the week. So let me just quickly switch my camera around and I'll show you where I am. All right, guys, so I got this stand. This is a tripod stand and it actually has the camera um, attachment there and also has a little boom for a mic, which I actually did buy the mic that's on my table. I'll show you that in a second. So this is what it looks like now. It has a 14 inch ring light studio kit and it includes, includes lights, tripod, mic and phone mounts, which is really handy as well. So that was on sale because it's normally 90, 199, but it was, I think it's 160 or 159, something like that. So I got that. Now that sounds expensive. But this ring line here that I have here cost me $100. So the fact that I've got all the mic stands and everything with this, um, it's just going to save me a lot of money. And also, I can always have one of these and move this around my room. So if I'm filming over here where my drawers are, like a declutter video, I can move it over here. And then I can have this one permanently set up with my camera there, which will be really handy. And then, guys, before I show you what's on my desk, I'll show you what's on my bed. This um, I just picked up, it's a uh, lining, a liner, um, just a clear one, and I'm going to line my drawers in my desk with this. I'm not going to line all of those because it will take me forever. I just want to line my drawers just to um, catch any fallout in makeup and stuff in my everyday makeup drawers. And then I picked up like, I think, eight of these shirts. Half of these were only $4. They were like on sale. One, two, three, four. So four of these were only $4 each, normally $25 each. And then these ones were on sale as well. Um, and yeah, I just want some extra shirts. I picked them up. I picked up some shorts for $6. They are in clearance as well. Now, this is the camera that I bought. This is the Canon EOS M50. This is what it looks like. So I'm happy I finally got a camera. My friend, um, Pure Lottie, um, we met through Instagram and her YouTube channel and we communicate almost daily now. Um, she actually did all the research for this. Um, we've been, we've both been wanting a camera for a long time and she did all the research. I've got to give her um, all the props. She did all the research and we both bought one each. So um, we can't wait to try it out. I actually have it on my desk there. I've charged it and I've just been playing around with it and testing all the settings and stuff. I'm actually watching one of her videos now on my laptop while I was playing with my camera. Um, this is one of her Vlogmas last year's um, video, I think day 18 or something like that. I also have my pink makeup case. I'm putting all my extra um, camera batteries and everything like that in that. So I think that's just a good way to use my makeup um, cases. I have so many, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to use one for my camera. Then I'm also going to use one for all my um, GoPro stuff, my extra batteries and stuff like that. I did buy GoPro for myself. I bought the Hero 9. Um, and I also bought that S and also bought a card with it and everything to go with it. I actually have to charge it because I'm going snorkeling tomorrow morning with my friends. So that will be in this vlog as well. And then I also got this mic as well. That will be on my new tripod and plugged into my new camera. So I'm excited to try everything. Um, in these drawers over here, I have started to pack some stuff into it. Some of these things I'm not going to um, have to put in the organizers i did mention in my last video i picked up some custom organizers for these drawers i'll show you that box in a second but this drawer here is all my brand new makeup items that i have to try so i know which ones i have to still use and then guys we've got this second drawer this is all my face masks all my soaps i love soaps um, i like to use these different types of ones this is lemon metal this one's one of my favorites and then we've got like a body soap which i got for christmas so they're all my face masks and soaps in here is all my skincare items i've got all the extra skincare items um but i'm using a whole lot right now so these are the next ones that i'll get to this drawer here has all my lashes so i've got all lashes for days i don't need any more lashes now these drawers here i'm gonna put all my actual makeup in i'm gonna have all my palettes and everything like that in there then all the bottom drawers will have all my extra cords for my cameras and chargers and gopros and everything like that and i'll also carry and then i'll also fill it up with makeup as well 
I also bought one more of these. I actually have one of these that holds all my brushes in it. I like this because it has a lid, um, so I can put it on and there's no dust all over my brushes and cat hair. I bought one of these because when I was cleaning up my room um, in my last vlog and redoing my uh, bedroom, all my cologne bottles were getting dusty. So I just thought I might get one of these and then I can put all my colognes in here and they don't, they won't get so dusty. So that's why I got that. And this will probably stay on top of my drawers here. Got my extra brushes. I'm in the middle of doing all my um, drawers. So I'm really gonna get into that tomorrow after um, snorkeling when I get home. Let me just quickly show you what the box looks like with all my um, draw inserts and makeup organizers and I'll show you what company I got them from. All right guys, so this is the box with all my um, makeup organizers in it. Now I bought two of everything. So this is from Vanity Collections. Um, I found them on Instagram and they had just happened to be in the same city that I was in. So I could actually just pick it up. I didn't have to wait for shipping. Now I haven't opened it just because I've been so busy. But I am going to open it tomorrow and I'm going to sort everything out. So yeah, guys, that's where we are now. I'm going to actually sit down for the rest of the day, watch YouTube. But I also want to um, set up my GoPro. So I have to charge the batteries tonight um, because I want to use it tomorrow morning. And I think my friend's picking me up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go snorkeling. So I just want to make sure I've got everything ready. Yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the day. Um, testing out my new camera and just... Um, learning all the features to that because I'm I'm really bad at technology. Um, I also have to get into my laptop. I did open it. I have opened it finally. Um, and I've been testing some stuff out for that. So yeah, I'm happy that I've um, started to get all that type of stuff done. With the camera, it will probably take me a bit to learn. So I'm just trying to, um, I'll have to shoot some videos and hope that I can get it working perfectly. Um, it might be a bit of a trial and error, but stick with me through that because hopefully it will be a good outcome with the new camera. I'm excited to learn everything. I'm also catching up with um, my friend Piolotti. She, like I said, is from Instagram and YouTube. Um, we actually live in the same city, so we are going to catch up for lunch and then we're going to look at makeup and stuff like that we also are going to we'll probably talk about our cameras and all that type of stuff so that will be good we've been meaning to catch up for a bit and i'm excited for that that will be on sunday so a week from now so yeah it'll be it'll be a great week i'm excited for it i'm also getting hopefully a couple new boxes of makeup this week um, my sister wanted to get some stuff from beauty bay so i ordered it and threw some stuff in for myself um I was hoping it would come today so I could bring it to her house tonight for dinner, but um, it didn't come. And then I also have the new Natasha Denona palette coming from Sephora. Hopefully that video will be up before this vlog. Um, I'll let you know if it is because I've never tried any of her palettes, but this new palette, it cost me a lot. This palette I really wanted. All her other palettes, uh, not so much. This palette is so colourful and I really wanted to try out the formula. And I thought, let's just bite the bullet. Let's, let's get a palette if... It doesn't work out, I never buy a palette from her again. And I also think you can return palettes if they don't work out or they're not very good. So if they don't turn out very well, I will probably return it because it cost me $200. So yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go now and I will talk to you later. Oh, my love, bye. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. It is five o'clock in the morning and I am getting ready to go snorkeling. Uh, my friend is picking me up at 6 in the morning and then we're going to go. Um, it's I think it's perfect weather condition. Um, it's an easterly wind, which is really good for snorkeling here because the um, wind is going offshore, not um, onshore. So that usually means um, glassy conditions. So hopefully that will be great snorkeling. Um, I'm meeting up with three other friends. Um, so Mel's picking me up and then... We're going with Amanda, she's coming, um, that's Mel's sister, and then Aiden and Raquel. Um, so it'll be good, this is the first time we've had five people going. Um, so I've got my new GoPro 9 to test out today. I've charged it, everything's good to go. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. We're going to go snorkeling, um, and then we're going to have breakfast after. So it'll be good. And then when I get home, I'm going to start on sorting out all my makeup and my organizational drawers so that would be good yeah guys i'm talking kind of quiet because it is five o'clock in the morning and i do share the common wall with the neighbors so i don't want to wake them up all right guys i will let you go and i will pick this up during the day 
This looks really choppy, Mel. Look at that, compared to what it was before. I thought you said it was going to be flat. Well, it said easterly. It was easterly last time we went. I mean, does that, you can't, I can't feel the wind at all. Yeah, it is. Can you just ask the sea to be nice and calm, please? So this is what it looks like. It looks a lot calmer out there in the deeper. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Well, we're gonna try. All right, guys. Oh, look, guys, there's a helicopter coming. Maybe they're looking for sharks in the morning. Oh, look at it, look at it. Might be doing shark patrol. Um, so yeah guys, this is what it looks like. It does look a bit choppy or sloppy. where you stop all is in that little bit over there um, and some of the reefs only a meter deep um, and we're just thinking with those waves kind of crashing on it would we get kind of knocked about against the reef that's the question right now on the weather radar it said it was exactly the same weather last time we came um, and last time it was completely still perfect so we don't understand what's happened the weather radar lied to us but yeah, we're just wondering if we want to go down or if we want to try somewhere else. We'll let you know in a bit. Look guys, it's coming back. Oh, that's Mel by the way. Hi. Yeah, it's a bit choppy. Like you go snorkeling basically over there. Oh, you got a Samsung phone. No, I always have an Apple. Oh, you got the new Samsung. Mm. I got the new Samsung. Oh, it's so no. ah, okay. on me. Um, but yeah, it just seems a bit choppy to go. Yeah. Because the reef is sometimes only like one and a half meters no, between yeah, me, right, you, yeah. and the water. Um, and just feel like maybe you get knocked against the rocks. Like where that person is out there, that's really warm. nice. It's cold. Why isn't it hot? Isn't it supposed to be like 30 degrees? 34, 35 today? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, the sun is coming up. You can see it on the waves there. So it's just coming up slowly. Look, we're going to try and work I mean, out the maybe weather. maybe we could go down to Trig, Trig Beach. Down there? Yeah. But look at those. Waves over there. But at least there's sand there, you know, yeah. still on the sand and maybe no one can And I've got a board. That's true. Away. It's true. And Aidan, I said, I think he said he brought a frisbee, beach yeah. frisbee. I mean, it might calm down in a bit and get warmer. Maybe. You can work up a sweat. And by work up a sweat, I'll just watch you work up a sweat. But look where the paddleboarders are standing. Like it's calm enough for them to stand upright. Yeah, yeah. If we go all the way out there, we should be fine. True. <laughs> but there is reef all the way over there. Like there's that person swimming at the back over yeah. there. Yeah. Mm. Look how pretty it is, guys. 
starting to cover over the little houses over here. So you can see a bit better. Standing up on that. What do you call those things? Paddle boards. Uh, yep. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Oh, my hand's shaking. Um, I left my little tripod in my friend's car, so I am just holding the camera and I apologize for the checks. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly check in with you guys. So um, this morning we went snorkeling um, and you could see and you saw it in the video that it was a bit choppy. So we did try and go snorkeling, but it was just you couldn't see anything and it was really choppy. The water was really, really warm though. Um, so that was good, but we only went in for 10 minutes. But we played frisbee on the beach and then we had a really nice breakfast. Put a photo of what I had for breakfast up. It was a crab omelet with some mushrooms and a poached egg. I didn't realize the crab omelet was gonna be as big as it was. Um, but yeah, that was really good. And then when I got home, guys, I literally crashed. I was so tired. It started to get really hot when we left. So I slept for uh, four hours. So you can see my hair's uh, messy. I just actually cooked some food. I cooked the salmon rice and onion, tomato and corn like salad um, that I did in my first vlog. So I cooked that up. I'm also watching one of um, Ali Dawson's new videos, vlog four and five. So I'm in the middle of that while I eat my food. And then I wanna have a shower and I wanna sit down and actually film a brand new video, um, testing out full face of brand new products. Um, I'm gonna try and film that on my new camera. So. Hopefully that will work out. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then tomorrow I'm actually gonna do all the drawers, sort out all my makeup. I was gonna do it today, um, but I thought, no, I wanna film and play with some makeup because I haven't done that for a while. And I can spend all day doing the um, drawers just because it will be a little less um, warm, which will be good because it's really hot as it is. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll pick the vlog back up tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? I know I look atrocious, but I only woke up an hour ago and as I was getting, you know, myself pretty, the power went out in the whole entire street. I don't know why and I don't know when it's going to come back, but I thought, well, I may as well just go and pick up my glasses. I just got text message. I just got a text message saying that my glasses are ready to be picked up. Um, I got my eyes tested a week, a week and a half ago now. So I'm just picking up my glasses. They did say when I got my eyes tested that um, I need them for looking at screens and stuff like that. My long vision, long sight, long vision is okay. My left eye is not as strong as my right eye. Um, and I'm guessing everyone's eyes are never exactly the same. Well, I don't know, I think that's what he said or something like that, um, I can't remember, it was a while ago. But yeah, I'm picking them up and then I'm going back home. It's, yeah, I don't know why the power's out. Maybe someone hit a power pole somewhere or something like that, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to get dressed and have a shower and stuff in the dark. My bathroom doesn't have any um, windows in it. So I just, I don't know, put a candle on or something like that, because it's quite dark in that area of the house. But yeah, I'm excited. I've got, I'm working tonight and I'm working tomorrow, or well, I'm working the next three nights um, over the Easter period. I'm not working Easter Sunday. Today's Thursday. Um, so I have Sunday, Monday off. I'm working tonight. We actually closed the casino. The casino closes tonight at 3 a.m., which is one of the only three days that they are closed. Good Friday, I thought they were closed Easter Sunday, but they're not apparently. Good Friday, um, Christmas Day and Anzac Day, they are the only times um, the casino ever closes. Every other time it's open 24 hours a day. Um, so we close at 3 a.m. and then tomorrow I get there and I start my work at 9.30 and they open at 10 o'clock. So I will open some of the blackjack tables and roulette tables. Um, before the customers come in so the other dealers can get straight on the table and they'll be ready and open for business as soon as the doors open and it's really sad because there are always people who run into the casino like they will line up outside the casino doors for an hour just to get their like favorite machines and stuff like that it's kind of sad um, but yeah so that will be tomorrow night and then Saturday, it is, what is it? Yeah, it's just normal night, eight till four. 
8 p.m. till 4 a.m. And then I get two days off. Now, I am sad that I'm working tomorrow night, Friday night, because Jeffree Star is launching his mystery boxes. He always launches them on a Friday or a Saturday, and I always work on a Friday and Saturday night, and 10 a.m. their time is 1 a.m. my time, and I work night shifts, so I'm always at work when they get launched, and by the time we get home at four o'clock, they're always sold out, so I'm going to try and pick up some on my break. Hopefully my break is around 1 a.m. Um, I'm hoping I can get some because I've saved my money and I, I knew he had um, said that they were going to be launched near the end of March and I put some money aside because I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and get them this time. Hopefully I can get them. Hopefully. If not, well, then I'll just... I'll just I'll just buy some more makeup or something like that. But I'd put the money aside just for those boxes. I'd never ever received the big box. They're always sold out. I have received the Halloween mystery boxes, the medium and the small boxes. And that was two two and a half years ago, almost three years ago. Um so I really hope I can get it. I know a lot of people uh if you about Jeffree Star and everything like that, I like his products. Um, I still watch his channel. I still watch all of that type of stuff. I'm, I don't know, like, you know, I don't know. People have their views and I don't mind if you guys have your views, but please don't like go off of me and do all that type of stuff in my comments because I'm not all about that, you know. I'm about makeup. I like makeup. I like trying different things. Sorry, I'm in the car park right now, so it's I'm getting a bit dark. I like makeup, and that's basically what my channel is for. It's all about makeup and everything like that. What are these people doing? You are on the wrong side with your hazard lights on. I don't know what you're doing. Um, anyway, I just want to try and get the big one just because I always missed out on that one. And the reason for that is most of the time it's because I'm a bigger guy. I try and get the bigger size merch because most of these big boxes always have like merch in it, um, jumpers and stuff like that. So you have to pick a size. I pick um, the bigger size, but they're always sold out. So guys, I'm really, really hoping that I can pick it up. Um, I'm actually at the shops now. So I'm going to go and pick up my glasses. I'm going to maybe get some sushi for dinner tonight before I go to work it's because the food's not always great at work. But yeah, I'm hoping um, I get a good swing tonight. I'm hoping I deal all roulette tonight. I don't want to deal baccarat at all. Blackjack's okay, but I prefer all roulette. All right, guys, so I'm going to um, go get my glasses now and I will see you when I am leaving the store. All right, guys, I'm going to Hi, guys. How's everyone doing? Um... It's been a week or so since I've actually filmed. I haven't been feeling too well. Um, but I'm kind of feeling a little better. I actually think I got food poisoning yesterday. But I'm feeling a little better. Um, I've just finished cleaning up my room. So I kind of want to show you where everything ended up being in my room, makeup wise. So I'll take you over to the um, makeup drawer in a second and show you what's in every single drawer, how I've kind of set it up. It's not the final um where it's going to be it's just in the drawers now just so i can kind of get an idea of where everything fits how it fits um how many drawers i need for all my eyeshadow palettes all that type of stuff i do have more eyeshadow palettes coming as you know i love eyeshadow palettes i also did manage to get um jeffree star's mystery boxes all three of them there was a fourth um which was i think 70 dollars or something like that but that was 420 related um which is weed um, if you didn't know, or pot, or whatever you call it. It's not legal here in Australia um, to smoke pot, weed, whatever. Um, and I don't smoke it myself anyway. So I didn't get that mystery box because those items were related for that. He's probably got his um, cannabis grinders and stuff like that in there, which I'm not going to use. So I didn't get that box, but I got all three of them. And I was amazed that I actually got all three of them. So I will do an unboxing of that when that finally comes. Now, if you guys have... Um, strong feelings towards Jeffree Star, please don't leave them in my comments. I don't want any negativity and stuff. I 
do like his products um i've never managed to get the big mystery box so i just tried and i managed to get it so i'm gonna do an unboxing of it and some of the items i'll probably um put in giveaways because i don't like his liquid formulas of his um highlighters and stuff like that so if any of those are in there i'll put them in giveaways but yeah don't come for me please um when i do an unboxing please also don't come for me with any negative comments and please don't come for me in this video with jeffree star related stuff because i don't want to hear it everyone has their um opinions everyone has their right to spend their money where, where they want to spend their money and yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that um also i did get the glasses you saw me get them last week that was the day when the power went out um so i didn't film when i got home i was gonna film but it was kind of pitch black here so yeah i got my glasses i kind of like them um so i've been looking at the screen here not looking at the camera i've been using my other camera and i'm yeah just <laughs> still getting um used to switching back and forwards i'm just filming on my phone right now but yeah i like um my glasses they are just for looking at screens and stuff like that they're not really for everyday wear but because i'm filming and i'm gonna do editing in a second i thought i'll put them on and show you what they look like they're just like framed glasses what brand i don't know what brand they are these are quicksilver they're all right they've got the orange stripe on the side i like them they're just like i said only for um basically looking at screens watching tv um editing and stuff like that just so my eyes don't get so tired so quickly um and they only cost 120. actually i was very surprised because it cost me 120 for the glasses plus the um eye test which was amazing i do have hbf which is um private health insurance so that helped but i was expecting to pay for these glasses when i went back in i thought i only paid 120 for the eye consultation or whatever you call those um but yeah i just picked them up and there was no fee so i was happy about that um all right let me show you what i've um organized with my makeup i'll switch the camera around in a second all right guys so we've got the drawers here now on here we've just got different smaller items i just have to pack them away but yeah let's start with this drawer here these are all my eyeshadows so we've got my smaller eyeshadow palettes we've got Colourpop, all my Colourpop ones, we've got Be Perfect, we've got my Kaleidos um, eyeshadow palettes here, which I love, Fenty, we've got Laura Lee, we've got two of her smaller palettes, and then we've got Kim Cheese palettes, we've got three here, the Nine Pan eyeshadow palette, we've also got the Colourpop Makeup Black palette, now this was broken, but I still have to do a makeup tutorial with that, we've got the Beauty Bay one, we've also got the Pure um, Raw Beauty Christie Nitro, Nine Pan eyeshadow palette, and then we've got some um, small empty magnetic palettes from Morphe, which I will fill up with future single eyeshadows when I get them in boxes. And then we've got more eyeshadow palettes. Now, I know these drawers don't look completely full, but I do have some um, eyeshadow palettes coming, so I've just left room for those. And I also have some on my desk that I want to film with later. Um, we've got my Morphe ones, another Morphe one. We've got uh, two Urban Decay ones, Born This Way. Stilla, um, BYS Cosmetics, all of those. This one here, another palette. Again, not completely full, but I will put more in here. We've got this Friends Revolution palette. I just bought Pat McGrath, Be Perfect, the big one. We've got Beauty Bay, and then we've got the Lorac, the Circus Tent palette. Now this one, this is all extra dividers, which I'll show you in a second, but I bought two of everything. These are the extra ones because I haven't set them up because all of these drawers took up eyeshadow palettes. But if I ever buy another one of these, um, I have these ready to go. And then this one, we've got all my influencer palettes. So we've got Jeffree Star Kimchi. We've got all my Manny MUA, Laura Lee Los Angeles, Blood Sugar. We've also got um, Colourpop X Beauty Bay. We've got um, Nikki Tutorials palette. And then we've got um, Stacey Marie um, Carnival 3 palette, which I have the other one coming of that too think hopefully tomorrow now this one here guys i'm not going to open because that's full of all the giveaway items in my next giveaway so i don't want to um, spoil that so we'll just go straight to this one um we've got all my eyelashes in here so i've got plenty of eyelashes for days in here we've got my gopro and also my other selfie sticks will be in the bottom drawer for now in here we've got all my other items so extra cards extra cords gopro um items and stuff you know just just all the technology and accessories for everything my carpet's very messy just to all that we've got all my um like beauty blenders my makeup wipes 
brush cleaners, everything in this drawer, this one here. We've got all my skincare items. So all my masks, lots and lots and lots of masks. I'm trying to get through. We've got all my extra uh, moisturizers. We've got all these items. Now, all of these um, items I am getting to. I'm just trying to use up what I've got now. So I'm not using too many um, products on my face. We've got all my soaps. I love soaps. So I've got heaps and heaps of soaps. These are all on the sale. So I got a whole lot the other day. Um, then we've got all my lip glosses on this side and all my lipsticks. Now I do have another one of these, but I thought I'm not going to fill up this drawer with lipsticks and lip, lip glosses. And if I do, I need to declutter. So this, I'm just using one of them just because that way I can kind of um, keep myself accountable. Because if this gets full, I know I've got too many. So that's all my lip glosses here and all my lipsticks here. All right, so the next drawer is... Now this looks a little messy. This side here is all my lip liners. This side here is all my eyeliners. I do know the difference, um, but most of these are okay for eyes or lips, so it's okay. We got all my Morphe ones I bought recently, haven't opened yet, but I'll get to them. So that's that drawer there. I'm just giving you a very quick run through, guys. In this drawer, we've got all my um, setting sprays, my primers, and all my um, foundations and concealers. So. Those ones I haven't used yet, I have to. The Morphe one I haven't used, I have to. And this one's just a refill of one I've tried before. Then this one here has all my face palettes. So we've got my Moon Prism Blush Palette. We've got this. This is an eyeshadow palette, but I'm going to use it as a face palette just because all those shades are bronzes and blushes for me, in my opinion. Morphe Highlighter Palette. Jeffree Star Highlighter Palette. We've got um, Benefit, Morphe. We've just got a whole lot of different um, palettes in here. Sorry guys, I'm trying not to talk too much because I've got a um, cough. So if I talk too much, I start coughing. All right, this drawer has got all my single eyeshadows in it. And we've also got my P. Louise bases and my liquid eyeshadows as well. And we've also got my water activated um, ones as well. These are the UV ones. So yeah, most of these are all my Super Shock eyeshadows um, in this drawer. And then we've got a couple of like um, Dose Cosmetics. We've got Inglot, we've got MAC. Um, and yeah, so I'm happy about that drawer. And then the last drawer has all my setting powders, my blushes and bronzers, all the single ones. And then we've got all of these are single highlighters. As you can tell, I love highlighters. Um, I've got all of these from Kaleidos. Now I do have this... And you're actually meant to put all your highlighters in here. For now, I've taken all the highlighters out of this, but I might put them back in because I know I'll get more single highlighters coming soon, so I need more space. So I've kept this, and I do really like this as well. I think it's a really nice, um, cute little tin to put everything in, but these are all my highlighters here individually. But yeah, so that's everything in my makeup drawers. Like I said, I've just quickly gone through everything for you just so you know what it looks like. So yeah, guys, that's basically everything in my drawers. Um, I just wanted to quickly give you a rundown of everything. I know a lot of you watch me do my um, vlog, um, changing my room and everything like that. So this is kind of the conclusion of all my makeup in my drawers that I built. So yeah, it's just to work in progress. I've got more makeup coming. I will put things in um, different spots. I might change things around. I might put the eyeshadow palettes more at the bottom and everything at the top. So I'm going to end the vlog here because it's been probably two weeks since my last one. And I don't think I'm going to film anything interesting in the next couple of days to add to this vlog. So I'm just going to end it here. I think it's already 17 minutes because I've been editing as I go. So it'll probably be about 20 minutes by the end of it. So I think that's long enough for a vlog. So yeah, guys, uh, nothing too much. I got glasses and I got sick. Nothing else happened in the last week. I ate some chocolate. I didn't go out with any friends. Didn't have dinner or anything. Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Oh, my love. Bye.